How's it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with some college football news. This happened a little bit earlier in the day, and I was not home to cover it. Just got home from working out at our rec center, so I had to come on here first think and make a video. USC has hired former, now former, Washington head coach Steve Sarkeesian as their head football coach. And I've seen a lot of missed reactions from USC fans. Some USC fans think this is the worst thing that ever happened. Some think this is worse than Lane Kiffin. Some are very happy. Some of the players are very happy. Some of the alumni are very happy. So it's a lot of mixed emotions. So uh, the biggest thing for USC fans is the fact that Ed Orgeron resigned as a coach. He's no longer at USC, and he'll probably get a good head coach, head coaching gig somewhere. And, I mean, it's kind of understandable with what he did with, with USC once Lane Kiffin was fired midseason. It seems as if uh, I, I kind of thought they were going to give him a, an opportunity to be the head coach officially after what he did because, I mean, he completely turned the program around. Without him, they might have been a, a three, four win team this season easily. And he uh, turned them into, I think, eight, nine win team, I'm not sure, but definitely better than what they were whenever Lane Kiffin was the head coach. He did an absolute outstanding job, and now he's gone. He was, uh, a, a quote in an ESPN article said he was outraged by the decision, and uh, actually the, the, the athletic director of USC offered to make him assistant head coach and the high, one of the highest paid assistants in all of college football, but he declined, and I, it's understandable, uh, I'm not a fan outside looking in. Now looking at the Steve Sarkeesian hire, yes, he's familiar with USC. He was the offensive coordinator under Pete Carroll before he took the head coaching job at Washington. Um, yes, he made Washington a, a better program. He made them... A lot better than what they were. They were a consistent 0-12, uh, 1-11 uh, to 110 team. I mean, he came along, turned them into a 6-win team, 7-win team, respectively. And I'm not sure if that's what USC wants. They're, they're, so they, they consider themselves one of the top programs in the country. I mean, that's understandable. They're one of the uh, most traditional programs in all of college football. They had almost a, uh, the whole entire season to find a head coach, and they end up with Steve Sarkees, and I'm sure that's not a lot of that, that, this is not the guy that USC had at the top of their list. They had a bunch of guys, whether it be Chris Peterson, John Gruden, James Franklin, uh, Jack Del Rio, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they get stuck with Steve Carr Sarkeesian. Like I said, some USC fans are happy. Some are completely outraged and think it's an absolute joke. And uh, this really uh, um, can be Pat Hayden's last opportunity as athletic director. If this does not work out for him, he could be this. This is a deal that could get him relieved of his duties because this is this is a kind of a risk. It really is because I, I mean I know I see Sarkeesian turned Washington into a competitive program, but he really did not have great success at Washington. Uh, not one year. Um, it's just average. Just just average. And that's what not what USC wants. If if I was a USC fan, I'd want a winner, a guy that's proven he can win, can win now, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not sure if that's what they have in Steve, Steve Sarkeesian. It depends really about how he builds the staff. He'll probably take a lot of the guys from Washington and combine with some of the guys left that they already have at USC. And that put that potentially can be a very, very good uh, recruiting coaching staff. So as long as USC can keep recruiting like they are, I think they're going to be okay. And um, are they going to be championship contenders each year? I mean, that's uh, that's unforeseen. Who thought Gus Malzahn was going to turn Auburn uh, around like he did this season? So who knows what can happen. But uh, it came out earlier today that Chris Peterson uh, took his name out of the running for head coach. It seemed like it was going to be come down to Jack Del Rio or James Franklin of Vanderbilt. And it's just out of nowhere, I mean, it's not out of nowhere, but just surprisingly, just earlier today, it was either Peterson or Franklin. And then Peterson said he's not going to be the head coach, and then just like that, Starkeesian accepts his head coaching job. It's just kind of a weird chain of events, but he is now the head coach at USC. Um, I'm sure Vanderbilt fans are happy. Uh, I think would be surprised to see Jack Del Rio go after a head coaching job somewhere. Um... I, I actually heard a rumor today that Lane Kiffin could go to be the offensive coordinator at, at Florida, which would be, a, a, I guess, a recruiting help, definitely. Um, but Washington now, I actually heard rumors linking uh, Chris Peterson to Washington, but it seems as of now, really, that nobody, if, if USC can't pull Chris Peterson, nobody can. But I do want to say, though, 
when earlier today I was thinking about it, James Franklin, Chris Peterson, which guy would fit USC better? We I think we all can agree. I know James Franklin's obviously he's turned himself into a a very good head coach, but I think we can agree that Chris Peterson, as of right now, is an absolute genius as head coach. What he's done with that Boise State program, he's an absolute one of the best coaches in the country. But I just don't see his his personality fitting USC. I saw James Franklin's personality fitting USC more than Chris Peterson. So if I was a USC fan, I thought James Franklin would have been the better hire. But they don't get either of them, and they get Steve Sarkeesian. I mean, you got to look at it, though. Cause, I mean, he did have success as offensive coordinator. Uh, all the players love him. All the former players loved him. They were devastated when he left for for uh, Washington. And, uh, I mean, he's a good head coach. He is. But it kind of comes as a, as a shock all of a sudden when you have uh, you go from Chris Peterson to Steve Sarkeesian. But I think he, he knows the area. He grew up in California. He went to college in California. He knows the recruiting base. I'm sure he's going to put together a great staff. So I think USC will be okay. I think this is a, a good hire, but not great. I don't think it's a hire, uh, the hire that you expected after a whole season of looking for, uh, looking and analyzing uh, head coaching candidates. It's a good hire, but not great. And I think that's what some USC fans are trying to say. And like I said, a bunch of USC fans are outraged. And I, I kind of understand, but I still think they'll be okay. I'm just not sure if you're able to bring them back to elite status like they want right now. And that could be bad for his future, but we'll have to see. Well, after this season, after what goes small on Sun Auburn, who knows what can happen. He can turn USC into a 13-0, 14-0 and national championship team in one season. Who knows? But if I had to give this, I'm going to do this for each head coaching hire. Um, I, I'm going to give this grade a B plus, or maybe just a B. I'll give this head coaching hire a B, just uh, based on the pure fact that it seemed as if they were going to get a, a big time hire after a whole season of, of searching for a head coach. That's that's why I give it a B. In other, in other news, I didn't want to make a video on this, but Jim Grobe resigned as head coach at Wake Forest, and that is a sad day in college football. One of the best head coaches, one of the best guys in college football, uh, completely changed the the, the uh, perspective on Wake Forest football, turned into turned them into not a laughing stock. Actually, won the ACC one year with Wake Forest. Uh, he did done uh, did such a great job with the talent that he got there, and he's gone now, and that sucks for Wake Forest. But I think they'll get a pretty decent head coach themselves. But uh, they wanted to add that in there. But that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about this hire in the comment section below. If you're a USC fan, are you glad with the hire? Who else? Who did you want to be the head coach? Are you, are you happy with Steve, Steve Sarkeesian as your head coach? Do you think this was a mistake? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you did think this was a mistake, let me know who you wanted as head coach. That's it, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be covering all the NCAA bowl games, all the NFL playoffs, and all of the NFL and college football head coaching firings and hirings and other breaking news in all sports. So if this is the first video you came upon mine, please subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Uh, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash srtr. And as always, roll tie, go socks, and go Titans to you. Um, have a great week, guys. Maybe see you soon. Have a great week. Peace.